But first, we'll be reviewing a show called Opie Radio. We have both listened separately. We have not discussed it with each other beforehand. Let's get into it. Greg Opie Hughes, what is your background with, with Opie, Monique? So, for the longest time, you know, we would PM to each other on Twitter. Hey, come on the show, come on the show, come on the show, come on the show. Yeah, yeah, sure, 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 sure. And even Tim Sabian tried to kind of hook us up because I think he was doing something for Westwood One at the time. Okay. And I went to call Ruiz's um, kind of quasi-funeral thing that they had on the Upper West Side. Yeah. I went with Gorilla and Tim. Definitely coming on the show, definitely coming on the show. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, weirdly enough, there was like a thing about Scott Salem in the paper and um and i see that they quoted opie in it and the quote was literally the exact thing that i wrote to him on a pm he took what i wrote <clears throat> and used it as his, as his quote for what? the post and i was like what the i was like nice move there opie nice fucking move and and uh, and after that, totally like ghosted me. It really, just ghosted me. And then John, who I do Radio Gunk with, started going onto his chat as Radio Gunk. And you know, even when he had Jackie on, he's like, you know, Jackie's like, oh, I love Monique. You know, I'm good friends with her. And blah blah blah. And Opie's like, yeah, I got to get on the show. And everybody wrote to me and said, oh, he said he's going to definitely come on the show. Three months later, still nothing from Opie. So he can really just go suck used and abused by opie mm. oh no poor Monique. totally totally well so we no love lost for him i decided to check out because we talk about opie from time to time but i haven't really like dived into one of his live streams in quite some time and he's still doing it every morning he's still getting up over an, well, yesterday is the one that, that we looked at and he gets up over an hour before the sunrise and then ends his show before the sunrise it's like the whole point of the show is for me. For exactly. so I started listening. I listened to the first 15, 20 minutes. I was like, you know what? I'll wait and see what kind of clips he has on it. I don't want to ruin the show for us because yeah. I, I love it to be organic. But I, I sent a text to Carl. I was like, wow, what, a, what? This is this is some kind of shit. And he was like, yeah, I know. And um, so bad. And then I fast forwarded to the end. I'm like, oh, okay. So here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. No, sunrise. No sunrise. Yeah. It must be nice living on the six or forty eighth floor in a seven million dollar apartment, taking full advantage of that view by doing a freaking show in the dark. I'm not understanding. Well, so Opie got a ring light. Now, anyone who pays attention to B Dabbler, El Harible, he does a good job documenting that Opie doesn't realize how cameras work. And so for a long time, <laughs> It was dark, and he's like, I got to get a new camera. And he's like, you just need a light. And he finally got a light. So check it out. <laughs> this is Opie starting off his stream. It's 6 a.m., I would say, probably, is when this starts off. And uh, mm. it's dark behind him, but he's lit up. There we go. Time. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my live stream, 500 feet above New York City as the sun comes up over Manhattan. <laughs> hey, Opie, how did you sleep last night? I slept uh, very, very well until I was woken up by a by a skunk fart. <laughs> All of a sudden, at four thirty in the morning, I'm like, "Why am I awake? Why am I awake?" And then this is how he starts his show. By the way, I just want to point that out. He's very amused with himself for saying skunk fart. <laughs> yeah, for thirty years in radio. Yep. And you start out a show that's appealing to 12-year-olds with a skunk fart. Yeah. And, you know, fart jokes are only funny when there's actually a fart to be had. Like, <laughs> fart, fart jokes aren't funny when there's no fart. I'm just going to foreshadow um, this skunk fart thing is going to come up a bunch. <laughs> this episode. <laughs> that is, that's why he's so lit up. He's like, this is gold. Yep, he's set the table I'm going right to milk now. this. Yep. And I, I, I realized uh, thing, very wait, sorry. New York what? sunrises at 7.07 yesterday. Yeah. Yes, I know. Right. Okay. So th that's why he missed it by like seven minutes because he started at <laughs> six and did an hour. <laughs> Couldn't wait. <laughs> and then I, I realized uh, very quickly why I was awake. I had one of the most putrid farts of my lifetime. It was a skunk fart. It woke me up from a cold sleep at 430 in the morning. So with that, I say, 
Good morning and cheers. Cheers to you Go. and yours. Ouch. It's Go. painful, isn't it? Yes. That cheers thing that he does, Mo, oh. is so obnoxious. And it, the problem is, is that now I do it. Yes. I can't oh, no, help but do, do it now. No, you do not. It's leaked into is our private lives. Is it any worse than Skull? Seriously. Oh, it's it's on the same level as yeah. Skull to me. Now, Skull's a little bit more obnoxious, but the way Opie does cheers, uh, it's rough. Yeah, he's very proud of himself every time. He's also right. very loud at such an early hour. Like, I was listening to it in my headphones, and I'm like, why is he so fucking loud at, like, 5 o'clock in the morning? Good morning, Where- Jack, Mo! This is all he knows! Hey! Good morning! Weather and traffic coming up! Jesus Christ, Opie. <laughs> Calm down a bit, buddy. Everyone who's watching oh, you no. just woke up. Relax. <laughs> All right, drinking game time. I don't care what time of day you're listening to the show. Drinking game time. All right. Every time he says skunk fart. Oh, no. <laughs> going forward. <laughs> Producer Chris is like, I got to grab another bottle. Hold yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> I think there's a box somewhere around here. All right. So after, and by the way, I'm going to go in order. I don't normally just go in order with these clips, but I feel like it tells a story. It, it, tells, it really does. Right? The picture. <laughs> yeah. So we got we to gotta go through this methodically here and see how Opie runs this live stream All right. that he does. <laughs> and then I'm out cold, man. I, I was doing great last night. And then, yes, 4.30 in the morning, I'm looking around the room like, why am I awake? Why am I awake? And all I could smell in the room was a skunk fart that was coming from me. From me. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now, because he's got doggy, so now the question comes up, how do you know that, that was your fart, OB? Exactly. And not- and you know, I, I, I noticed, which is incredibly funny to me, everybody that's in his live chat are actually real people. Like, <laughs> yes. like we usually have people are like, you know, the the fart of Christmas past or, you know, Harry Vayner or whatever. He has real people. Well, I'll it's tell totally you. Weird. I'll tell you why. He's live streaming in this episode. He's live streaming to Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Now, the oh, Instagram okay. is usually only if you like follow him, but he opened it up publicly for this episode. Oh, lucky us! And what yeah, we're going right. to find out, Mo, is that he likes people on Instagram and Facebook, but not YouTube, because that's where the fake accounts come in. <laughs> That's where he has a problem with people. So we'll, we'll learn more about that. He's going to put them on on blast. <laughs> You'll see. Um, so, all right, let's find out how he knows that it's his fart that woke him up at 4.30 a.m. And I thought I could sneak one out. And um, it was so bad, this skunk fart, that uh, my wife wanted to get mad at the dog. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers to that. <laughs> so I know it was mine. Why did the dog eat a skunk? Nothing worse than one of these farts. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So gross. Just the ones that are just hot air. Don't be describing the ones himself. that don't make noise and yeah. blow a lot of air. <laughs> those hot are air. the There's ones you got to look uh, for, kids. You got to look out for those, of course. By the way, he's breaking new grounds with this conversation right now. You guys ever hear about those silent but deadly parts? Huh? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Everybody knows an SPD. Everybody. Yeah, I know. Oh, wow. Don't we go into CPT? What, what, what's, what's the wording he uses? Like 5,000 times in the CPT? CTP? Well, s- skunk fart. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Okay, sorry. Oh, you're talking Getting... about chat GPT? GPT. Yes. So <laughs> the next conversation he has is about having to go to like this open house at his daughter's private school. And at the open house, they try to engage the parents with what the kids are learning. And here's the stuff they're working on. Obi doesn't give a fuck. He could yeah. give two shits. He just wants to look at her art projects. He doesn't care about math or, or anything else. Right. Because school sucks now. Well, because school is useless, according to Obi. It was all right. Um, my daughter is a, a, a very, a very, I will say it, a very good artist uh, for the age of 10. So her artwork was fantastic. Then there was what, then there were workbooks and, and math equations. And I'm just like, ah, I'm not sitting through this. Show me more of your art. Cause the rest of the stuff I think is stupid in this day and age. Now that we got the right, chat GPT or is it GPT oh. chat? Is that what you're talking about? GPT. Oh. You like that? Day. Like that what is that? What is GPT? Are you not familiar with Chat GPT? 
It's uh, it's this it's this AI search engine type thing where you can type in any oh, question. You can write a, a note yeah. or something. It, it'll okay. it'll answer your question very conversationally. And the big controversy is that you could have it write a paper for you if you're in school, right? And you can right, just type right, right. in there, "I need 500 words about Russian history, whatever." That's the example that Opie uses. Jay so because tape. because of that, school is useless. Now that we got the GP Tate chat, school is completely officially useless. <laughs> Father of the year over here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He's paying for private school for both of his kids and pointing at the screen and going, school is useless, kids. Don't waste yeah, your just time. In case, just in case anybody doesn't realize it, Opie currently lives in a $7 million five-bedroom, four-and-a-half-bath apartment on the 46th or 48th floor on Riverside Drive. So this man is is probably the worst person to talk about, you know, school, econ- anything, anything. This is what's so it's, annoying about Opie is that back on the Opie and Anthony show, he would talk about it all the time. He's just like, we learned all this math in school. I never used any of that. I didn't even know why we had to learn that. It's like, well, yeah. some people do, Opie. Mm-hmm. Not everyone <laughs> becomes a millionaire radio star. Yeah, you don't represent <laughs> the masses. <laughs> yeah, like he, he, he still, to this day, has not figured that out. Right. He's talking about, yeah, like, well, now that we have chat GPT, you don't even need school. Guess what? The yeah, people who created that? Went to school. Yeah. They learned math. <laughs> and other things happen in school other than book reports. You know? I know. <laughs> so this is this brain dead dummy reminding us that school is stupid. So my point is very simple. School is stupid, kids. <laughs> Thanks, so. I have spoken. Very good. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So you have, hey, Opie, are you going to go on Kevin Brennan's show? Yes. And this, of course, yeah, of course. So then he has to make the general public statement oh. about how he feels. About yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Actually, let me skip ahead to that because um, yeah. people are asking him here if he wants to go on Misery Loves Company. And so this is him. Yo, Kevin Bryan was talking about you yesterday. He said he wants you on his show. I think it would be great. You'd be a great interview. Uh, no, thanks. Tell, tell Kevin Brennan, no, thanks. I'm doing my thing. I ain't going on anyone else's dumb, stupid show. <laughs> so uh, that would be a no, thank you. Okay, I respectfully uh, decline no the you. invite. <laughs> Hold on, the, the, the very end here. I, I you got to hear this again because after he says "not going to your dumb show," he says, "Okay, <laughs> I respectfully uh, decline the invite." <laughs> that wasn't that respectful. <laughs> no. And if I could just play this because my buddy Jackie Marlowe sent me a timestamp to Kevin Brennan talking about having Opie. Out of oh, show. Mm-hmm. Let's hear how serious Kevin was yeah. about getting Opie on the show. <laughs> I'm sure he's in tears now. I'm gonna yeah. try to get Opie on the show. Opie, I think he's Opie from Opie and Anthony. We 100 bucks. We could probably get him. Uh, how about stop complaining once and be funny, Kev? What are you kidding, Fat Boy? This is always fucking funny. It's always entertaining. It's like fucking always fun. Yeah. By the way, that's the end of that conversation about getting Opie on the show. <laughs> and everyone's like, Opie, guess what? Kevin wants you on the show. You gotta go do it. <laughs> Uh, I shot out a PM to him on Twitter. Hey, I heard you want to be on the show. It was the one time Chad was silent. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> Opie's been having this thing going on. Oh, Chad with those reading glasses on. Somebody put in the comments underneath it that he looks like he's wearing glasses with the eyeballs painted on them. <laughs> <laughs> he's such a nerd. That would be the first funny thing he ever did. <laughs> If he just came out with googly eyes, yeah. and that was a stand-up, so I'd be like, this guy's a genius. A rainbow wig. <laughs> Chad, I'm giving you this one, buddy. Yeah, Take it. Yeah. Don't even give us credit. We don't need it. You got it. First one's free. <laughs> Consultant to the stars. <laughs> All right. Now, this is something you don't see out of Opie very often. He's been going back and forth with my buddy Aaron at Steel Toe. Mm-hmm. And what happens is they're both broadcasting at the same time. So Steel Toe will send the people who are watching him over to Opie's chat. And then Opie sometimes plays along, sometimes he doesn't. In this case, he's gonna let everyone, he's gonna let everyone know how successful he is. You can already see the orange in the uh, horizon. It, it looks like that sun is gonna pop in another, I don't know, 20 Two minutes hours. or so. <laughs> Uh, Opie, if you convert these videos into podcasts and do the steel toe show, I think you'll find an increase in viewers and subs. I, I, I ain't doing some lame ass, stupid podcast. 
People are trying to push. Yes, you are. People are like just <laughs> hanging off my nuts. These, these, these podcasters on the YouTube, and they're all bothering me. Wait, I'm sorry. Yeah, He's I'll saying make a deal with that. His nuts? I'm sorry. What was that, Mo? Everybody said that they're hanging off of his nuts. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Everyone's riding his coattails <laughs> in the startup right now. <laughs> Mind the gas. <laughs> if I just get some of that opie juice going. <laughs> Gross. YouTube, and they're all bothering me. Here, I- I'll make a deal with uh, that guy and anyone else out there. When you can show that you got three, not one, not two. Oh, sorry for the curse finger. Not one, not two, not, but three. Sorry, three <laughs> multi-million dollar homes. Yeah. Then get back to me and, and I'll bother wow. with you. Until then, shut your mouth and do your stupid little internet show. I'm sorry. Can you put that on pause and see how many views this show has? That show? That did? <laughs> this episode had, I don't know, a few hundred, I think. No, it's 775. Yeah, okay. But he's got okay. three multi million dollar homes, Monique. Face. Multi million dollar homes. I don't hear Jesus him brag Christ. like that very often. He must be very upset with Aaron from Steel Town because that really triggered he him. Tired. Just now. It was a fart. Yeah. yeah. Don't ask. Don't ask. I didn't realize he'd be swinging his dick around this early in the morning. I was like, whoa, okay. Watch him with that thing. Holy shit. You're going to take someone's eye out with that. What a fucking asshole. This is a guy who. Asks for stars on Facebook, which yeah. you know is one penny each. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And he's constantly looking for donations. <laughs> well, again, I'm, I'll get to it. Yeah. But he lets YouTube know he's not too thrilled about, about how much money he's making from YouTube. Yeah, he wow. returns wine. <laughs> he, he returns wine. bitches about bagel costs. <laughs> <laughs> he's so cheap. He can't afford parking in his building. Right. He has to park on the street and move his car twice a week. And here's Are this guy you- bragging <laughs> about three multi-million dollars. Sell one of them, I'll be. Yeah. Get a parking million spot. Seven million dollars. Six point nine eight million dollars he purchased that for. Jesus Christ. Yeah. I can't get rid of them. My family's hiding in one of them. <laughs> they won't tell me which. Yeah. All right, guys. Get ready, because there is a sunrise mm. a-coming. Mm. Oh, God. Enough of these guys hanging off my nuts. There's your uh, sunrise coming up. Is that really the sunrise? <laughs> <laughs> no, but he's still fucking at the AM morning. He's like, coming up. We got weather. We got traffic on the nines and a sunrise. Stick around for that. You're not going to want to miss it. <laughs> so this was this is what's fascinating to me, because there's a few things that happen in this episode I don't really see very often. The first one being bragging about his homes and yeah. kind of being a douche about that. But the second one is him actually saying that his live stream from the day before didn't go very well. And I just thought, what? wait a second, Opie's self-evaluating? Because that doesn't even make sense to me. Yeah. I got up after barely sleeping, and I did a just a, I'll be honest, a lame-ass live stream. It was a lame-ass so live stream yesterday. So came out of the box on fire. But, um, man, you know, there's things. Getting older now. Uh-huh. I think there's things I can't eat anymore. Oh, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> so he admitted to doing a lame I think, Mo, I think you mentioned, like, what is today's life? Yeah, I want to see his greatest hits. This is good? (laughs) I'm confused as to how he's measuring this. Yeah. Specifically. (laughs) What are the metrics of a shit show for him? Right. Like I used to say about Shuli's show, of course, because I know that he talked about me the other day, and people wouldn't go on my show because I don't have as many viewers as he does. And it's like... Oh, simmer down, Shuli. Simmer the fuck down. I used to, I used to daily go on and see how many viewers you had. Remember when it was 300, 400, 500? You know what the difference is between me and you? I didn't have like 30 million people listening to me every friggin' day. That's the difference, Shuli. Okay, I digress. I'm sorry. Wait a second. You're not the president of the fan club at all, are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to realize. And she would have gotten away with it, too. <laughs> yeah, right. wasn't pretty good. So you just heard Opie introduce another fresh concept. As you get older, you just can't eat the same foods anymore. <laughs> and <laughs> producer Chris, if I gave you a thousand guesses, you oh, would never oh. even come close to the food that Opie is describing <laughs> that he can no longer eat. And one of those would be the three bean chili. Oh, yeah. Can I get it? Oh, yeah. 
Where, where are my older people at? I don't think I can handle the three bean chili anymore. Boom! Hot take. <laughs> I don't think I can handle the three bean. What is he cracking that up? That is just like a ga- Why is that funny to him? Why is he talking like that? Also, what what, <laughs> what kind of like morning gangster talk is this that he's doing? I can't do the three bean. Yeah, what, that, what that? that's where the comedy comes from. Yeah, Molly. he thinks oh, that's funny. That's okay, Rather I'm... than say things that are funny, witty, or interesting, he just puts out a voice. <laughs> I'm putting out a voice to make it interesting for the viewers. Three beans. While I talk about very boring shit. Holy shit. <laughs> when, when he fucking said three bean chili. Uh, no! Opie, <laughs> make up something that's more interesting than that, even if that is the case. Yeah, and you could just say chili. I know three beans. Really? Chili. <laughs> Which is the bean that got you, Opie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I could do the kidney. I could do the. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can handle the three bean. That is just like a gas bomb when you get older. And that's why I uh, I woke up too early again this morning because because uh, of the skunk fart from the three bean chili. <laughs> Tom Myers, you taking notes right now? <laughs> <laughs> Some comedy gold right here. Um, so one of the things that Opie does is, and I try to pay attention as best I can. There's so much going on here. There's comments that are just coming up Nonstop, like LaShonda Jackson, Jackson's on there right now. And um, she writes, Opie not wasting his time with nobody podcast. Good for you, Opie. <laughs> he was coming on to LaShonda a little bit earlier. Yeah. He's like, oh, LaShonda, you must be new here. Yes. Welcome to my little family. Welcome to the club. Yeah, he, he thinks that she's an ally. She is not. <laughs> she, will, <laughs> she will show her true colors uh, pretty soon. <laughs> but what I love about Opie is he's constantly putting up these different comments. And when he decides to leave up the longest, is shit like this. A chicken chili, I can still do those. But man, I got to slow down on the hey, spice. Hey, Opie, you suck. Slow down on the <laughs> spice. Caps. That's why I don't think Just I can do that chicken there. wing podcast where they Steve eat the hot Steve is the man wings. 84. I would be a mess. He is the man. <laughs> yeah, Steve, well done. Buddy. He doesn't mince words. <laughs> hey, Opie, you suck. Go back, go back. The hubris of thinking that they want him on the podcast where they eat hot oh. wings, which gets like millions of viewers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Good no. point. Spice. Slow down on the spice. That's why I don't think I could do that chicken wing podcast where they eat the hot wings. I would be a mess. And no one's asking you. No one asked me. And you know what else I won't do is Joe Rogan. So (laughs) don't even ask. I'm not doing it. Or anything entertaining. (laughs) (laughs) All right. So this is how boring the... So he's trying to cultivate a brand new audience. He doesn't like the open Anthony pests anymore. He shoes them away. Mm -hmm. But the new audience that he wants are the most boring people to ever exist in this world. And exactly. That's the real people. They're so boring. Yes. That, that, right. That's why you're like, holy shit, this is not a fake account. This is actually a boring <laughs> person <laughs> who's participating in the show. And this is a guy named Tom Mee, last name M-E-E. And uh, Tom Mee Tom. is very boring. Tom Mee. Wait till you get to be my age. Ugh. <laughs> Tom Mee. Hysterical. Good one. Cheers to our, our pal Tom May. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. <laughs> I mean, this is water cooler word. talk. This is, no word. Yeah. This this is no the word. water cooler talk that makes you want to go do your job. You're like, right. all right, yeah, no, I know. I'm, I, my joint turned too. Okay. Ooh, I gotta go do that thing with that guy now. Yeah, I got, a, I got a meeting. I got a final report. But yeah, no, this has been a great <laughs> convo. I'm going to be caught up this morning. Tom Me. <laughs> Fucking boring <laughs> asshole. Oh, this is hilarious. So Opie's talking about staring into the night sky. And he oh. says that, um, you know, in New York City, it's hard to see the stars. But he was able to see some stars the other night. And then he makes this brilliant observation. Facebook stars? <laughs> <laughs> um, do you know when you look uh, up into the night sky, you're looking at the past? Cheers. <laughs> you're looking at the past. That is in some, some of these things you're looking at. Uh, what you're looking at is uh, something from, I don't know, light years, light years ago, I think. Is that how it works? 
Nope. <laughs> a light year is a measurement of distance, Opie. It's not a measurement of time. Maybe school is a good thing. Yeah. Maybe paying attention to school would be a good thing so you don't make an ass of yourself and your live stream. Talking about, oh my God, that happened light years ago. <laughs> he, he could barely count to three before. <laughs> One, two. Oh, I mean two. Not one. <laughs> Not two. Not three. I mean, one, no, it no, is three. Actually, it is, actually yeah. is exactly. Cool starts, in my humble opinion. <laughs> so now that he made this observation about stars being light years away. <laughs> right. Or, or No, no, no. That actually is the correct thing to say. Light That's years ago correct. is what you're seeing in the sky. So his dumb audience doesn't correct him on it, but just thinks he's uh, a genius. <laughs> Opie DeGrasse Tyson. Yeah, but I dumb it down for everybody. <laughs> I really just <laughs> dumb it down. <laughs> Thanks, Opie. Yeah. Thanks for dumbing it down for us. I was confused for a minute there. <laughs> Do you get it, Tommy? <laughs> now, Monique, I don't know if you made it this far into the show. but I got, into, I got to Opie DeGrasse Tyson, yes. Okay, because coming up next is one of Opie's old bits. Now, he doesn't know what to do to fill this time, obviously, so he's going to get the phones lit up. Oh, this is one of the things you do on FM radio, like, yeah, hey, let's get a topic going. Let's get the phones lit up. <laughs> you know, well, why don't we do this? It's an old bit that I did a million years ago, and then I brought it to the Opie and Anthony show. It's a very, very simple bit, and it gets us all just, just contributing Let's do F you Friday. It's Friday. Something has pissed you off. What pissed you off this week? Let them roll in the chat room. I'll put you on the big screen if you're watching this on the Facebook or the YouTube. And I'll certainly uh, (laughs) focus on the Instagram a little. Jim Jeffries. My buddy Jim Jeffries checking this out. He probably didn't want me to say that. But hi, Jim. One of my favorite comedians to to this day. And I think he's got a special coming out, the, the Jim Jeffries. All right couple things going on here so jim jeffries the jim jeffries if he if this is really jim jeffries who's watching him like why wouldn't you want people to know that he's watching is that embarrassing to be watching opie (laughs) yeah we think so yeah you think that was a slip (laughs) i didn't say it opie did so i don't know i do doubt that that was jim jeffries watching him but no maybe it was seems like a pretty common name all right so we're gonna go to the phones and the way that you get a bit like this going monique is you give your own example. All right, it's FU Friday, and I'm going to tell you what I'm fu in about this Friday, and we'll get your calls after the break. So, But, yeah, man, it's FU Friday. What pissed you off this week? I mean, I'm going to go with uh, three bean chili pissed me off, <laughs> and I'm going to go with uh, skunk farts <laughs> waking me up at 4.30 in the morning. That That's what's pissing me off on this FU Friday. This what is the greatest you sense. got? <laughs> Is everyone you drunk now? Really should have made us guess. <laughs> yeah. You really should have made us guess what his thing that pissed him off I should was. Have. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think's pissing off Opie today? Skunk farts? Skunk farts. Creamy and chili. Whoa. People invited me on their shows. <laughs> the stars. The stars. <laughs> All right. So what's funny is one person writes in F you to the flu. Because I guess she has the flu or something. Nobody else participates in this FU Friday. It goes nowhere. Nobody gives a shit. It doesn't work at all. And uh, this is a fun comment that comes up on the screen from J Rock. Props to J Rock. They get rough weather. And what you see every once in a while is one of these giant, <laughs> medium sized trees just going like this up and down in the water. <laughs> a giant, medium sized tree. So J Rock says, Hey, Opie, got news for you. All comedians on ONA hated your guts. After he goes, Hey, my buddy Jim Jeffries. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Jim? <laughs> Jim doesn't like you. <laughs> All right. So now Opie's going to start talking football. <laughs> There are apparently four teams left. I don't know. I stopped paying attention, but I guess oh, there's four teams left. Stop in the NFL. It. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. So Opie's going to give his uh, his hot take, and there's a Dunning Kruger effect going on here with <laughs> Opie that I find hysterical. But what do I know? You know what? I know as much as anyone else on ESPN for real. I mean, they they just babble, stupid uh, babble. Be on ESPN too, I see. Yeah, see. God, he's so full of himself. Jesus, fuck. It's amazing to me. Monique, I'm not saying that everyone on ESPN is a genius, but these people are watching these games. They're they're 
studying Everything. the tape. <laughs> they're watching all the plays. They're having well, meetings about it. Opie's like, I know as much as anyone on ESPN about sports. What? No, yeah, and he leads doubles. into it as if it's going to end like uh, humble. <laughs> right, yeah, right. <laughs> He's like, what do I know? Yeah, what do Just I know? An, what an Just expert more knows. Than anyone else. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I might have missed out on something, but was there an actual segment where he went to the uh, Friday fuck you Friday things? Was there anything? No, there was just that one woman who said she had the flu. That was it. It never went anywhere. <laughs> it wasn't a good phone topic, apparently. <laughs> I hope his PD has a, has a talk with him next week. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, we've seen some of these comments that are coming through. Like, hey, Opie, you suck. And uh, J-Rock saying, all comedians know it, ain't it hated your guts. But this is the comment that stops him in his tracks and Love gets him distracted. Him there so is <clears throat> my roots are showing. What, what, bro? What, what? Your roots are. Sh- what are you? What are you talking about? <laughs> um. All right. Anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> that throws him off. Your roots are showing. He's just like, whoa, whoa, what the fuck? How do what? I deal with this? What? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> because because he looks so good and so attractive in this video to begin with that that should be the one thing that would make him upset. Yeah, introducing the ring light was the worst thing he ever did because now I can see what he looks like. Ah, it's not good. Jesus Christ. 5 a.m. Opie is not a good look. Well, 5 p.m. also sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me started at noon. <laughs> noon Opie's the worst of all. Noon. <laughs> all right. Monique, time for a station identification. Opie needs to take a little break here on the show. Here's uh, the sun coming up over. Uh, wow, that looks nice today. All right, let me get my second cup of coffee. Yes, I just walk off. It takes wow. uh, It takes about a minute. The mic's down there. I had to bend over. I'll be right back. <laughs> so he seems to know what he's doing wrong. <laughs> yeah. Is there going to come a moment where he realizes that the light is like O for Opie? <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. You can actually make the OP radio logo out of that. If he just moved it over just a little yeah. bit so it's in front of the building, it could be like his logo. He's oh, too he's, smart for that. You could be a producer of this show, yeah. I think. <laughs> so the reason why I played OP getting up to get his second cup of coffee is because I wasn't going to, except for what happens when he comes back is hilarious. Ah, you, you couldn't wait, Instagram. Lost half my Instagrammers because I went and got another cup of coffee. <laughs> you couldn't wait. What? You know what? Should I turn them off? You couldn't wait. No, I'll, I'll leave you on. Kind of need the numbers. All right, where were we? Pat Duffy's uh, <laughs> daughter's birthday. I hope that went well. Wow. He said at one point there's 20 people watching him on Instagram. So we're from 20 to 10. Yeah. And his first thought <laughs> was to punish the people who were still watching. Yeah. Oh, well, then no one gets to watch right. if you, 10 people are leaving. And then that's sad. I need the numbers. Oh. <laughs> Even oh, I'm like, oh, poor guy. <laughs> He's just trying to get by in this big town. Yeah. This big city eating him up. <laughs> so. I remember like radio people used to always make the joke when something wasn't going well. I'd be like, oh my God, I can hear people changing the station in their cars right now. But what's funny is that Opie can actually see people dropping off. Yeah. That's got to be exactly. torture, right? To be like, oh, where's everyone going? What happened? <laughs> yeah, but the reality a... is how many people could have possibly been listening at five o'clock in the friggin' morning or six o'clock in the morning? Could you imagine right? I mean, getting up and being no. like, oh, I got to turn on Opie. Got to see what wow. Opie's talking about today. And he's so fucking loud. It's like, where's his family? Where are the kids? Is everybody sleeping at this point? Where is he? I think they're sleeping. I would hope <sighs> so. Because most people are still in bed at this time. Jesus. All right. So now Opie. Maybe they all had to get real jobs because of him. <laughs> yeah. His kids are working the sea ship. Yeah. <laughs> They'll be home soon. Selling factory. Just getting home. <laughs> My kids are making iPhones. <laughs> down in Chinatown. I found them in the suicide nets. <laughs> <laughs> making iPhones at Foxconn. <laughs> Holy shit. Pretending to be Opie is funnier than being Opie. <laughs> yeah. By a lot. Yeah. All right. So I mentioned, we mentioned LaShonda Jackson earlier. 
was this hot black girl who's on there going, right. hey, Opie, oh, you're hot. I'm single. All this crazy shit. Yeah. So then right. she comes out with this comment. But right now on that damn moon, there's like, uh, there are the Prince of Neil Armstrong. There's a typo, but I think what it says is, I hear Bam Margera is still digging out Opie's wife's guts. There's, <laughs> there's a rumor that Opie's wife slept with Bam and it bothers Hopi to this day when people bring it up. So Jesus I people Christ. are fucking with him. Are you familiar with that rumor, Mo? Have you heard that? I have heard that rumor. Yeah. I mean, Bam Jera is like, what, like two minutes from dead. But yeah, I heard that he uh, he banged his wife. He still looks better than Hopi. <laughs> <laughs> Stepping uh, out and onto the damn moon. And those uh, Look how long he leaves it up for, too. He's yeah, so stupid. At least a million years. That's crazy. What is he talking about, though? So what he was talking about was how the footprints from the first astronauts will be on the moon yeah. for a million years. Yes. <laughs> I, mean, I, I wish I could explain to you why he's talking about any of this. I, I watched this whole thing and I still am dumbfounded by it. Jesus. Oh, God. He's finally saw Oh, it. LaShonda, you were a hater the whole time. <laughs> you betrayed oh, me. <laughs> God, you God got, me. got me. Isn't he the one putting up these, go- uh, yes. these clips? Yes. He's the one putting this up. That's what I do. I mean, we know how to do this. You didn't have to put that up, Opie. That's what I mean. He's so bad at this. Like, he's running the exact wrong show format for a guy who has all these people who want to fuck with him all the time. He's constantly putting up people fucking with him, which encourages more people to come and fuck with him. Which means all he's doing is clicking through them. That's all he's doing. Right. He's I, not even reading them. You know what? Opie, just do 20 minutes on skunk farts. Don't even <laughs> don't even talk to the chat. Just, you know, don't even put up their chats. Make sure you use that second uh, camera angle that's exactly like the first. <laughs> <laughs> he does these videos, Monique, he produces after the fact, where he's got... Two cameras. It's just like Tommy from the room. It's, it's, there's two cameras right next to each other, and he goes back and forth between the two, and it's like there's no difference. It's great. I got special haters that go after my uh, my wife and my kids. Those are the special haters. They go after my, my wife and, uh, and kids, and they, they don't want anything balls. to do with this. So they just go with horrendous bullshit rumors. That are absolutely not true and were proven to be not true a million effing years ago. Those are the special haters I got. So cheers to them and the hate in their dark fucking hearts. Oof, sounds like Obi's a special <laughs> hater. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus. This is a roller coaster of emotions that we're going through here. Everyone was having fun and now he's pissed. I did it with the wiffle ball back. Oh boy. <laughs> All right. So now the sun is starting to come up. It's starting to get light outside. And Opie, because his face is getting darker, <laughs> thinks it's a camera problem. <laughs> uh, 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 I don't know why my camera's looking crappy today, but that's all right. We'll so light behind that. you do will I need make like... you darker? Wait, I got to go. Hold on, let me just do this. <laughs> 30 years in radio, my friends. Yep. Yeah. Oh, Nelly. What did um, you do? He's, so he's turning into the sun. <laughs> oh, he goes, bah, my fucking camera looks like shit today. Ring light versus the sun. The sun is going to win that battle every time. I think Opie. so. I think so. Being backlit is a bad strategy for a broadcast. Wow. wow. People who take Zoom meetings know this, but Opie still can't figure it out. Okay. Yeah. And why would it be different today? He's been doing this for a while. Oh, that's how dumb he is. Oh, okay. Yeah. He I keep forgetting. <laughs> he thinks it's the fucking My camera. bad. I'm the dumb one. All right. So now we have um, Cordiff Natural Gas, who is, by the way, <laughs> El Harible. <laughs> this is El Harible's potato a great guy. <laughs> is that a good sunrise behind me today? <laughs> Not really. Not really. We, we do way, way better. So if people are familiar with Cordiff, it is a um, really crappy looking Mr. Potato Head with a guitar in his hands. And he says, Amazing. Oh, wow, that is a tremendous sunrise behind you. Yes. And I think he just wanted to get Opie to look. <laughs> and it worked. <laughs> Made you look. <laughs> Made you look. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. I listen to podcasts all day at work and would love if you did one. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> Anthony, are you like, are you serious? Are you serious? I got the Opie Radio. Oh my God. He can't be serious, right? I got a podcast. It's called Opie Radio. Basically, what I do is cut up, uh, I cut up these live streams, get rid of a lot of the stuff that didn't work. Uh, are you reading? Are you know, you a little inside like baseball. Below? Sometimes it's just the funniest friggin' thing. I know, because Cordiff wrote in there, are you from the South? <laughs> Opie is as beautiful as the sunrise behind him. I'm new to Opie. Is he from the South? I'm originally from Bama. Bless his heart. Yes, which means go fuck yourself, yeah. as, as we all know. <laughs> Radio. Basically, what I do is cut up, uh, I cut up these live streams, get rid of a lot of the stuff that didn't work. Uh, you know, a little inside baseball. Sometimes I take two to three of these live streams and make it into a half hour podcast because then. You're listening to that going, God three, three damn it, is this. Yeah. <laughs> That's three hours worth of show he makes into a 20-minute podcast. But, but listen to what he says about his editing job. Listening to that going, God damn it, is this guy good. <laughs> <laughs> I've listened to his podcast. It's terrible. He thinks he's turning this into gold? It's impossible. Yeah. All the massing out in the world can't make this good. <laughs> it's not good. I can't believe three hours for 20 minutes worth of podcast. But look at how quickly he's triggered. Hey, Opie, I, I, you should do a podcast. He's like, what, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what the world Opie famous? Radio, not Opie podcast, Opie. radio. <laughs> and then he goes on to explain how, yeah. <laughs> how it works. <laughs> All right. So now this is where YouTube gets mean. And YouTube, uh, you were extra aggressive today with the hate. By the way, I want to point out in the chat down here is Ben Ratner, which is Rat, uh, Anthony Cumia's original producer when he went to Compound Media. Good to oh, see wow. that he's still in the fold hanging out. And YouTube, uh, you were extra aggressive today with the hate, and you gave zero money, <laughs> so you will not be on the next uh, live stream I do. I was punishing uh, them. It no. only takes ten dollars to keep me live streaming on the YouTube, and you did not do that. Because I'm not going to sit here with your just horrendous, <laughs> awful hate, and and I'm do it for free. Time. So go f yourself. Surely you can't put a price mm. on your dignity. Well, I would have thought so either. <laughs> Here we are. Yeah, right. <laughs> ten bucks. <laughs> what the fuck's ten bucks going to do for him? Right. So you don't get me next time. You don't get this. You don't get all this. For the next time. Oh, I love Ratner's actually trying to give him real advice. Guessing the exposure of the camera is set to the bright background <laughs> on auto, so it's underexposing you. May want to try setting that manually. Hey, uh, Rat, he's not going to pay attention to that. Yeah. <laughs> actually, don't useful bother. information that would help him? No way he reads that. Don't bother. <laughs> don't, don't bother with that nuts. He'll read it if it starts with fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Awful hate. And, and do it for free. So go F yourselves. You will not be on the next live stream. And of course, Facebook, you know. Oh, wait, what did they say there? Yeah, did you see Hold that? On. From uh, back. Going, Kev Monique, show more leg for better numbers. <laughs> yeah, Ross Dog's Broken Spirit, who I think is a hater. <laughs> I, I almost said troll. I got to remember Opie talk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Opie is haters. John is trolls. Okay, I got to remember that. Yeah, that's the way it works. Okay. So. So they ask have Monique, have Monique as if we have any kind of relationship. Have Monique show more leg for better numbers. I think that's a, I think that's a joke. But um, I was happy to hear you say earlier that um, who, John from Radio Gunk likes yes. to watch his show. Oh, he trolls him all the time. Yeah, <clears throat> because I I was wondering if um, if maybe this was you or not here. No, Speaking of money, what did Sirius XM spend on Howard Six? Yeah, so yeah, this, that's, that's, yes. this is that's from Radio Gunk. This is a question. Speaking of money, what did Sirius XM spend on Howard's 60th birthday bash in 2014? And what do they pay the guests to show up? This. So your boy John knows how to trigger Opie. This is the. Oh, if you want to get him going, just like say shit Good like this. This will piss him off. Speaking of money, what did Sirius XM spend on Howard's 60th birthday bash in 2014? And what did they pay their guests to show up? Oh, my God. Radio Gunk, that is a great question. <laughs> that is a great... Howard Stern is the biggest effing baby. I will never let up on that garbage. They pay him, I don't know, rumor has it, they're still paying him <laughs> at least uh, like $80 million a year. And... um 
<laughs> At their 60th birthday, they spent, I mean, they spent millions, millions of dollars. And this is what's unbelievable. Like, they had, a, they had to stroke that guy's ego all the time. It wasn't good enough that they were handing over pretty much the company to one guy. But then they had to throw these <laughs> extravagant birthday bash. <laughs> That's my favorite comment right there. We've been reading a lot of funny comments. This is what Joe say. says, Dumb Dumb puts the trolls on screen, <laughs> LOL. <laughs> <laughs> He's asking for it. Gold. The comments are gold. Isn't it so funny? <laughs> We're That's... all here chuckling. And it's not about Opie. It's about the comments. Right. The only thing entertaining about his show is people trolling him and him just putting it up on screen. And and sometimes he catches it quick and moves it off the screen yeah. quickly. And other times he just leaves it up. Yeah, he screen. doesn't have a good People's batting average with this. As the sun comes up higher. Yeah. He's like, you he practically can't see him anymore. <laughs> extravagant <laughs> birthday bashes and yes yeah, supposedly some of the celebrities were paid to be there i don't know the, i don't know if that's true but i heard that over the years and they spent millions on this damn thing and then you get, you had very very talented people that worked at Sirius XM, and they were asking for like they were asking for a thousand dollars more a year hey i hey i can't pay my bills and look i'm I, i'm obviously doing well for you i just need a thousand and they would say no. Oh, man of the people, Opie, all of a sudden. Yeah. Talking about Sirius XM not paying people enough money. Meanwhile, <laughs> Opie was negotiating contracts every two years, making $3 million a year to be the co-host of a show. And all of a sudden, he's, he's like righteously going, why don't they pay these guys more money, spending all this money on the talent? Well, Wait, when you were the, the talent, you were fine with it. He was off air for two years and still getting paid. Well, that wasn't serious, though. That was um, K Rock, right? N- uh, maybe not K Rock. We're we're N E W, maybe W N E W. W N E W. Right. That's how he was able to hoard so much money. He he was paid for two years to stay off radio. Yeah, amazing. We should do a contest. Have people have sex at a church around here? That sounds like a pretty good deal. <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> I'm just laughing at how much darker he's getting as like the time goes by. Yeah. Like, I know he's more orange than the sunrise somehow. He, he is his own sunset. All right, so then we find out Opie, or I'm sorry, Howard's birthday bash. Obviously, you remember this very well, Monique. His yes. 60th birthday bash, yes. star-studded affair, big event that happened, and uh, I was just shocked to hear Opie wasn't invited. Anyway, oh, Radio Gunk, you got me going. You got me. And you know what? We weren't invited. They kept telling uh, me and Anthony that we were the second biggest show at uh, Sirius XM, right? And I'm like, all right, cool, man. Uh, I want to check out this, uh, this goofy birthday party because I definitely wanted to goof on it. Hell fucking to the yeah. So maybe they, they, knew, not to, <laughs> they knew not to invite us. And... I'm like, wait, we can't go? No, you can't go. But we're the second biggest show. You tell us all the time we're the second biggest show at Sirius XM. Yeah, but you can't go. Because we drove Howard nuts because we were always honest about his bullshit. What a Zumach thing to say. Why why am I not invited? I just want to go there and goof on it. What's the problem? That's the problem. You're not invited. We don't want you there. You're just going to be an asshole. And I'm sure the word came down directly from Howard not to invite him. The thing about the birthday bash, which is historical to watch and review, is that they did it around the Super Bowl because they knew all these stars were going to be in um, because of Super Bowl Sunday. So that's how they were able to get Bob Kraft. Harvey Weinstein was there. Oh, was was that the year it was in New York City, the Super Bowl? Yes, 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 yes. yes. Uh Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. So that's how they got everybody. Yeah. So Opie is still uh, pretty butthurt. About that whole and situation. And by the way, they gave out free tickets outside because they didn't get enough people t- with contests yeah. to come to come see the show. And they were giving out tickets in front, like right before the show started. I was surprised because in 2014, he was still had uh, a lot going on, I feel like. But... Yeah, they fucked up. They fucked up because they didn't do enough to promote having people win tickets for it. Oh, uh, okay. And then all of a sudden, they had like 100 empty seats. And they were like, we need to fill it up. Just, just give out tickets outside. Just do it real quick. And that's what they did. I have an awesome ISO for you, Monique, that you might want uh, on your board. Go. Stupid radio gonk. 
<laughs> but you know what? John knows how to get him started because he yep. knows that this is like the right button to push. It oh, always yeah. is because it gives him something to actually talk about that he knows something about. All the rest of this Stupid is just fluffing out of bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> Obi was ready to leave, and then Radio Gun got him going. He's like, one Howard, five! All right. Third <laughs> ah, cup of coffee. <laughs> so this is him projecting uh, oh, on gee. Howard here. More and more, just shoving money down stupid Howard's face, hoping this will ma- will this make you happy, Howard? For your 60th birthday, we're going to spend millions of dollars and have the Rolling Stones there. Will this finally make you happy? Since you're shoving money down his face. (laughs) I will never be happy. I mean, never. (laughs) Well, not happy like you. That's literally how the show ends. That's the end of the live stream right there. (laughs) Are you kidding? I kid you not. (laughs) Oh, he's the best. <laughs> tell uh, tell John, amazing. great job with his trolling oh, of all He always does that to him. He always, always asks a, a question that he knows is going to get Opie riled up. Amazing. Uh, yes, yeah, delicious. I got a voicemail from Beyond the Grave, Monique. I thought you might appreciate this. Tell me. Oh, qua tanzin wan, qua onsa la jiwan. Uh, hello, friend Carl. This is Riley Martin. And uh, I'm calling because I've been in contact with the uh, the audience and uh, the screed, uh, so you see. And you see, neither of them know who this Tommy motherfucker is. Uh, <laughs> perhaps he is one of the insectilians, so you see. So uh, call me back, you club-footed motherfucker. <laughs> That's a pretty good Riley Martin impression. That's a great Riley Martin. I think I actually might know who that is. I okay. do a call-in show every once in a while, and he calls in, and he's amazing. We well, also sounded a little bit like, oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> a little George Takei <laughs> going there, too. But I like that uh, he's calling out, you know, Riley Martin knew a lot of al- space aliens. Mm-hmm. And, of course, Tommy mm-hmm. from MSCS Media were all convinced. So, so when I was still in talking terms with John, he one time said to me, he's like, you know, they, they have no idea who they're fucking with. Tommy's really connected. Yeah. He will fuck them up. He really will. He, this is no joke. It's so serious. He will fuck them up. I'm like, ah, I, don't know. I know nothing. I know nothing. There, somebody sent me, and it sounded like shit, so I never played it, but somebody sent me a clip of a podcast with these guys who were in the mafia, and they're doing a show, and they bring up Tommy. They, they use his real name and everything, and they go, that, that guy used to hang around, and they act like he was like in the club or part of this thing, and we had nothing to do with this guy. It's really funny. He was just trying to interview people. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy, see, John's the perfect guy to fall for Tommy. He sees the studio. Yeah. He sees the numbers. He believes all of his bullshit. The Coors is there. Paid to be on. He gets paid to be on there, though. Yeah, you know, I know. So it's different. So that's, but is it true that Scott is actually working for Tommy yes. now? Yes. Yeah. He's, yeah. I, I, got, I got Scott a job. I got Scott to do a job with, with Tommy. It's a good paying job. He owes me a commission. Who are these podcasts? 